Okay, thank you guys for being on the call tonight. And um, thank you so much to Candice um, for being on the call. And so I'll kind of give you guys a little, uh, what I know about Candice and how we met. It actually is funny because last year at Summit, um, we were getting ready to fly to Las Vegas and our something was wrong with our plane. I think somebody like was trying to like, I don't know if he was trying to hurt himself or something funky was going on. I don't know if you remember Candace, but there was something weird going on and they took us all off the airplane and like made us go through security again and all this crazy stuff. And so that's kind of how her and I connected. I missed getting PIO certified that day, but I do not care because I met her and she has just been this awesome light in my life this last year and just inspires me every single day. Um, she's just awesome and I'm going to let her tell her story, but um, if you guys do want to follow her, you could click the follow button. Um, I'll post a picture of um, her actual page and you can follow her. She always has something um, positive and inspiring to say and she's just... She's great. So, Candace, I kind of just want you to tell your story about, because I don't even know your full story, um, about <laughs> how you got into Beachbody and just um, how long you've been coaching and just your journey. And for those of you that don't know, she is expecting um, her third child. And, you know, I know that I've ha personally had a lot of coaches that have been like, well, once I get pregnant, I need to step away from coaching. And that's not the case. And um, I know for me, I, I used to think that too. And so that's not true. You could still be a great coach, even if you're trying to conceive, even if you are pregnant and um, still inspire other people. It's actually even more motivation to, you know, coach because you like have a bigger reason as to why you want to be successful and help other people because you're, because of your children. So, um, I will let you talk and I will be quiet, but um, thank you again so much, Candace, for being on. Thanks for having me on. I'm really excited, but this is my first call, not with my own team, so I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> but um, I'll just go ahead and jump in because I know these calls are kind of short and stuff. But um, I am young. I'm 23. And like Marianne said, I'm pregnant with my third child. And... Um, I started this journey because I had never had weight issues. I never had, um, I had kind of confidence issues, but I, I was never overweight or anything like that. And I didn't realize until I graduated high school, all that activity was helping me stay kind of comfortable in my skin. So whenever I didn't have that anymore and I graduated, I went to basic training. I'm in the Army Reserves, but I got this year. Um, whenever I went to basic training, I put on 30 pounds where everybody else was losing weight. <laughs> I could not fit in any of my previous clothes. So when we got to graduation day and we got to have all of our regular clothes back, I thought it was a nightmare while the other girls were excited because here I am 30 pounds heavier. Um, I actually met my husband at basic training, although kind of in passing. So we went to our job training together and that's where we started dating and we were there for about four months. And the month we graduated, I found out I was pregnant, like two weeks later. So um, we ended up getting married, like when I was five months pregnant. Um, it was weird because he had planned a proposal and I ended up getting pregnant all at the same time. My parents are freaking out because, you know, they're like, you don't know him, whatever. So um, we moved from, I was living in Indiana, that's where I grew up. So we moved from... Um, Indiana, he's from Kentucky, to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, to his first duty station. And I did not want to date him. I kept pushing him away because I was like, I'm not dating an active duty soldier. I have plans. I'm going to college at this, you know, in Indiana. I'm studying abroad, all these things. And all that just kind of disappeared whenever I became his wife. So we moved to Fort Campbell. I gained 70 pounds during my pregnancy. Um, I'm 5'1". I went from about 130 to 200 pounds, and I was miserable, um, not just from a, like, looking at myself perspective, but I was uncomfortable 
you know, my clothes were sticking in weird areas. I couldn't find anything to fit in the right spots. And I just hated it. It was something I didn't experience before. And then here I am like a new mom, a stay at home mom. And I didn't get to go to college like I wanted to. And I just was a complete depressed mess. So, um, I actually got pregnant again when my son was five months old and had my daughter. So when she was, she was about six months old, I found Beachbody and I saw a post on Facebook. It was a sponsored ad. My coach now, I saw her post that, um, military spouses could be Beachbody coaches for free. And I thought, what the heck, you know, I've already spent money on diet pills and wraps and all these different drinks and shakes and everything that was supposed to magically make me love myself. And of course it doesn't happen. So, um, I got Shakeology, I got um, combat, and about a month in, I was thinking, I'm not getting any results, I just wasted more money, <laughs> this sucks, and my husband's like, just take pictures, I can tell a difference, so we took photos, and it was a massive difference, you know, it's one of those things you look at yourself every day, and you don't really see the difference, but people were telling me that I was looking different, and after I saw those photos, I was like, whoa, I hit the jackpot here. <laughs> So um, I just did program after program, and I just consistently drank my Shakeology, and I lost 30 pounds. Um, January, 2000, that was in um, May 2013, I started as a coach for a discount. And then the following January, I thought, I'm going to give this business a shot. You know, if I can make a little bit of money here, there, help a couple people experience what I've experienced, and that would be awesome. So... I started working like an hour or two a week in January and then then summit came along and summit 2014 was like the jackpot for me. Um, like Marianne said, I met her there and it was just like, it's like all these people, you know, that you talk to on Facebook and you're, re you become really, really good friends with, they feel like family. And then you meet new people and you go there and you learn from all these amazing people that are just so inspirational and so positive. And it is just like the greatest thing ever. So this is how big of a deal it is to me. I have, my husband's going to be gone for training. So I'm going to be flying with my two and three year old, eight months pregnant to um, summit from Washington state. And I will be there this year. So luckily I'm not going to be past the 36 week mark or the doctor might freak out, but I will be there. And um, I'm really, really excited about that. So if you can get to Summit, oh my gosh, get. Um, kind of fast forward to today, I have changed from every kind of perspective. I'm a better person, I'm happier, I'm more positive. I just, I look at things so differently, just like um, our motor went out on our car, that's a 2012, it like just completely went out a couple days ago. And we were just like, Oh, you know, let's just see what we can do. <laughs> like, and the old me would have freaked out, crying. Why is this happening to me? Just like, you know, pity party for myself, victim. And now I'm just like, you know, these things happen and you just got to move on. There's nothing, you know, I can do about it. So I get down. So it's just for me, I always tell my, my coaches, you know, if this business never made me a dime, it would still be worth it to me because of the transformation that I've made from the inside out. And I can honestly say that I love myself. I love who I have become and I love who I'm going to be in the future. Um, from a different kind of point, I just want to talk about my pregnancy for a second because I did not want a third <laughs> kid. I was very happy with my son and my daughter. I wanted two kids. I have, um, you can see right here, I have my goal board up on the wall and 90% of them for this year um, involve me not being pregnant. So. They all kind of got shot, <laughs> but um, when I first became pregnant, I freaked out and I went into a depression and I felt fear. How am I going to be a young mom to three kids? You know, I'm going to do this. I'm not a super mom. You know, I was freaking out about that. And then I felt guilt. You know, how am I feeling like this isn't meant to happen when other people are going through, you know, trying to get pregnant and lost, you know, just like Marianne. And I've just felt this guilt. Like, why is this, why am I feeling this way? I felt so bad. And, um, I just didn't kind of know where to turn. So I stuck with my programs. I stuck with drinking my Shakeology and just tuning in with my team and saying, 
as in tune with them as I could and reading personal development. And that really got me through that. I was literally in bed crying like all day and night long for like two weeks because I was just so freaked out and stressed because it was so unexpected. And um, the point of that, I just wanted to kind of say, you know, things happen that you want to, that you're not expecting and you have new struggles or situations or circumstances and sometimes you can't do anything about it. I mean, you know, I'm pregnant. I can't do anything about it. But then it turned into, you know, my family is expanding and I'm going to make this happen. I may be afraid of being a mom of three, especially at 23 years old. But um, I kn it actually has helped my business because people see me in a different light. They thought when I, they found out I was pregnant, I was going to quit. They thought I was going to give up who I was. They thought I was going to quit on my business. And when they started seeing that I was actually pushing myself harder and making sure that I stayed healthy during my pregnancy and took care of this baby like it was already born, <laughs> um, I started getting so many more comments and people messaging me like, oh my gosh, you're pregnant, you're doing this, I can definitely do it. So um, just take your struggles and think, how can I use this to help other people? So, you know, whenever I talk to people, I'll, I'll hear them a lot say or say things like, um, oh, I have kids, you know, I have a baby, I can't work out. I'm like, you know, you can do this in like 30 minutes. You know, if you want to build a business, you can do that in such a little amount of time. And I've definitely taken my time. I spend every waking moment basically with my kids and with my husband. So um, the struggle, which that actually a blessing to both my family to myself to my business um, it's just you know so much more than that so her it's it's a girl and her middle name is Jane and um, I came up with that because it means God's gracious gift which is pretty much what happened to me whenever so I think you know going through that shock really helped me wake up and be like you know everything doesn't always have to be perfect in how you plan so um, Helping people who are going through things like that, maybe circumstance, or maybe they are pregnant and they're like, you know, what am I going to do now? Because, you know, I can't get abs and post pictures, you know, <laughs> I'm growing while other people are shrinking. So it's like, you know, I hear a lot of my friends say, you know, what do you do? You know, I can still help people whenever, you know, I'm not losing weight constantly. You don't have to have a big weight loss story to help people. So um, my best advice is to just stay consistent and stay positive and you know, the quote, you stay positive, you think positive, positive things will happen. So just be consistent. And I just keep my eyes on my vision and my why and why I'm doing this. And, you know, it started out as I wanted to lose some weight. And then it turned into maybe I can work a little bit. And then it turned into I'm healthier than ever. And I can reach so many people in different ways. So I'm writing an ebook now. Um, after I have the baby, I'm going to start teaching classes at a gym down the road from me. And it just kind of opened a lot of doors. So you get out what you put in, you know, it, whether it's work-wise. If you're only working 10 minutes a day, you can't expect to make six figures. If you're working out five minutes a week, you know, you can't expect to build a ton of muscle, you know. So it's just whatever you get out, you put in. So whether that be your business, your fitness, your, you know, relationships, you just have to think, you know, am I putting in, you know, am I getting out what I'm putting in? Am I doing what I need to do to reach my goals and to touch more people? So that's kind of my story and a little bit of input on um, being pregnant and just staying positive and just, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I kind of want to open it before we close. Does anyone have any like specific questions. I'll, I have a question. Um, what, how do you schedule your like power out? Do you do a power hour? How do you schedule your business to fit into your life since you are always so busy? Is it a consistent schedule every day or how do you work that? Um, for the most part, it's consistent. I'm really, really big on morning rituals. So my kids get up between 7 and 8, and I get up at 520 when Brandon leaves for work. So I get up, I read um, personal development, I read from my Bible, I do my workout, and I have breakfast, and then I work until the kids get up. So depending on what time they get up, that's my morning schedule every single day, and I make my bed. <laughs> <laughs> 
make your bed. It makes a big difference. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that is my morning ritual. And then I also actually recently, I, I have a part-time nanny who comes um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday for two, to two hours each day. So that gives me six hours of focused work. So she plays with the kids, takes them to the park. That's just a couple of houses down. That way they're not just twiddling their thumbs bored or I don't feel like I'm neglecting them. So that's really paid off for me as well. And then at nighttime, um, when Brandon comes home, I'll work before they go to bed. So that way we still have time together after the kids go to bed so we can still hang out. That's awesome. And what's your, you said you read the Bible. What other personal development books do you read? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am a podcast freak, especially because I mean, they're like two and three. So it's like reading a book is really, really hard, honestly. So that's why I do that in the morning. And I mostly do a lot of motivational reading or how to be a better leader because, you know, you're leading your team. And from the moment you sign up your first coach, you're a leader. And the moment you have your first challenger, you're a leader. So I'm really big on growing in that perspective. Um, as far as podcasts, obviously the Team Beachbody National Wake Up Calls um, are a big thing. And I do that while I'm doing laundry, going up and down the stairs while I'm driving, while I'm doing dishes. I mean, I pretty much play those constantly. I probably listen to like three hours a day. And um, there's um, Achieve Your Goals with Hal Elrod, I really like, and the 5 a.m. Miracle. Those are a couple of my favorites that aren't Beachbody related. That is awesome. Um, does anyone else have any other questions to just chime in or type it in the chat box? Don't. Um, I've, been, I've been waving at you for like five minutes, Marianne. <laughs> Julie. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I didn't have, I don't have any specific questions. I just want to tell you that um, for being nervous, you did pretty kick ass. Um, Thank you. I'm, I'm super, super impressed by you. I'm, uh, I could be your mother. I'm 47. <laughs> <laughs> so to honestly, you know, hear so much wisdom and insight coming from someone that you're, you know, at your age is like pretty amazing to me. So. Um, Thank you. Awesome. I really appreciate that. Yeah. And um, I just really learned a lot from you. So thanks for, you know, sharing your story with us. Thanks. <coughs> Anyone else? Hey, I'm not sure. Can you hear me? Yes. Marianne, this is Je or Candace and Marianne. This is Jen. And I'm sorry, it keeps cutting in and out. Are you, are you still there? Yeah, we're still here. Okay, awesome. I just really, really so appreciated your, your well, from like start to finish, I really appreciated everything. And for me, I can really relate to you just because I do have a two-year-old and a three -year -old. And we are thinking about getting pregnant very soon. <laughs> so... Um, just so, because we did want, we do want, to, I just was thinking, oh man, I just really got into the full swing of things. How in the world am I going to do that? But what I wanted to ask was, um, what programs, like, um, what programs are you doing while you're pregnant that have really helped too? Um, being pregnant is really about, for me, my workouts have to be fun. Otherwise, I cannot finish them. And I haven't really followed a specific program exactly just because on different days, you know, my body's uncomfortable or whatever I'm feeling. Yeah. So um, it really just depends on the day. But I love doing Turbo Fire. And I do a lot of 21 Day Fix because those tend to not hurt me. You know, I'm not really uncomfortable while I'm doing those. I just don't like the... Um, laying on your back or anything like that, but turbo fire. Oh yeah, awesome. That that's great. That's definitely one of the things I wanted to know. Twenty one day fix is like my favorite program. So yeah, I love that it. is awesome. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Thank you. So um, Jen is in Guam right now, so it's actually. Um, Tuesday for her. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. And her. Yes, it is. It's in the morning here, 11.20 in the morning on Tuesday. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And her husband's in the military as well. So they, she, they're Air Force. So it's funny. I'm, thank you, Jen. So if, does anyone have anything else that they wanted to ask or add? I'm an open book, nothing too personal. <laughs> I don't care to answer. Well, I just add, I, again, I don't have a third child, but I did have mine exactly 13 months apart. So um, when you mentioned that you, you know, when your daughter or your son was five months old mm -hmm. you with your daughter, and that's exactly what happened to me. So mine are 13 months, and then I had my second one a month, six weeks early. So mine are 13 months apart. And I will tell you, um, you know, again, I don't have the third one, but it does get easier. Mine are 12 and 13 now. So you will have a reprieve. Oh. You will have a reprieve. Thank you for that. <laughs> Need some reassurance. <laughs> Down the road, it will get a little bit easier. <laughs> they can bathe themselves now. You know, they can make a waffle. It's, it's all good. <laughs> well, thank you again, Candice. And thank you guys for being on the call tonight. Um, I learned a ton of stuff. I have two pages of notes. So um, thank you and hope everyone has a great night and we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks everybody.